So you're thinking of selling. It's time to get your house ready for the market. There's lots of things that you're gonna need to do. Getting it ready clean to sell is a little different than just clean. So in this video, we're gonna learn lots of tips and tricks and uh, resources to, to help you along the way. Hey everybody, if this is your first time visiting our channel, be sure to subscribe, like, and get notifications so that you can be notified of all of our upcoming episodes. Time to get that house ready to sell. You might be selling in a seller's market or a buyer's market. Either way, having your home show ready will position your home in front of those buyers that are looking. In a national survey which asks how buyers buy, here's some results that you might find really interesting. The first question was, what is the most important characteristic buyers look for in a home? Can you guess it? Right, location at 69%. Location is certainly an important characteristic to a buyer who's searching for a home. The other objective characteristic was the size of the home, which means that 78% of the buyer's criteria is decided before they ever come into your home. What about the other 22%? In this survey, curb appeal and homey were the responses that was received the most. These are also things that the seller can control. Inside your home, you can control up to 70% of a buyer's first impressions. Let's go inside and take a look. The easiest and least expensive way to control a buyer's first impressions is by looking at and fixing clutter, cleanliness, and odors. What is the number one easy to fix problem that sellers often don't address? Any ideas? Give it a guess. Did you say paint? You're right. The next largest segment was cleanliness. Painting and cleaning. Both low cost. What is the number one condition that could keeps a property from selling quickly and at list price? Any guesses for this one? Household odors. Who would have guessed? Now that we know all about what we can control for the lowest amount of cost, let's talk about how we can get started. Now that you've decided to sell, you'll want to start looking at your home differently. It's now a house to sell. I know it's hard because it's where we call home. But make sure you keep your goal in mind, that you want to get it sold quickly and for the best price. Now it's time to look at your home through buyer's eyes. Try touring other homes in your area, ones that are similar to yours. How do they make you feel? What negatives do you see? Another great tip is visiting some model homes in your area so you can get that move-in feel. After you have toured some homes, now go through your whole home as if you were a buyer seeing it for the first time. Look for small things that would make you look at it and think, ooh, there's some work to be done here. Remember, if you think there's too much work to be done, buyers will think the same thing. You might also like the video that we have coming out next week, which is the pros and cons to living in Vero Beach. Also, there will be in the comments section below a link that you can click to get the Dress for Success catalog and checklist to help you along your way. Be sure to sign up. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much for watching.